all eyes and ears in Pocatello neighborhoods could be going away. Police say the city's neighborhood watch program could be eliminated because there just aren't enough fresh faces taking part. Local News 8's Dennis Valera joins us in our Pocatello newsroom. So, Dennis, the problem is nobody stepping up to the leadership roles, right? Right, Carol. The current leaders of the program have been serving 10 to 15 years. They want to hand off their responsibilities over to a new crop of people, but there's just no one really to replace them with. As they go to school to make sure that they're safe and my neighbors to make sure anything's not happening around them. Robin Brown likes to keep a close eye on what happens in her neighborhood and her neighbors return the favor. My neighbor across the street usually calls me when I've left town for a couple of days to keep an eye on things for me, which I really appreciate. But according to the police, that kind of drive is lacking in town. So much, these signs might have to be taken down soon. Police say there isn't as much neighbor interaction as there used to be. There, there seems to be a lack of face-to-face -face interaction with our neighbors. And we need to know our neighbors. We need to rely on them to help, help us protect our property, to deal with neighborhood issues. Multiple people I talk to say the program has done good work here. I would hope that it wouldn't go away. I'd hope that people would step up. But even if it goes away. We have a close-knit uh, group that are always watching out for each other. If you're interested in getting involved with Neighborhood Watch, you can get a hold of Diane Brush at the Police Department. I put contact info on our website, localnews8.com. Live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Dennis Valera. All right, thanks, Dennis. And you can also get in touch with Brush just to let her know that you want to see that program continue.